Yo, what's poppin', my people? It's your big homie, CTG, and I'm back at you guys with a special UFC 5 video because in today's video, we're gonna be fighting a EA Sports UFC legend, and that is Swiss Lebix himself, Mr. No Stam Gang. We're gonna be doing a best of three. So here in the first fight, we're gonna be doing it here in the Bantamweight division, and it looks like he's picking Corey Sandhagen. Uh, so I don't really know who I want to take. It'd be really easy for me to pick Sean O'Malley. Uh, you know, I never take the easy route. I, I rarely ever do. Um, so we are going to use... We'll use Davis. Davis and Figgy. It's good. We'll use Figgy. Let's do it. He's going to go with the Swiss or with the Corey Sanhagen pickup. Now, for those of you guys that don't know who Swiss Lebix is, like I said, he's he's a legend of the UFC franchise, man. He's one of the best strikers uh, this game has ever seen. So, we're going to test it out. Touch gloves and we underway. That's not going to work. Every skill in terms of the wrestling and the grappling and the striking. Now, the one thing I, I know that Swiss likes to do is he likes to pressure. He likes to put you in really bad spots to make you guess. And then make a read to be able to counter you. Kind of like what he's trying to do already right here. So we got to take our time against him. He is prone to getting gas, though. As the fight goes on, you'll see Figueredo pick it up a little bit. As he starts to feel more comfortable. Trying to get the big shot off. Everything he throws with absolute power from his punches to his kicks, just power in everything he does. Big right shots there. being landed on both sides here. Oh, how right technical there. is that? Nice straight punch. Nice knee. Great block there. Well, he continues to find his timing here. Seriously, there it is. Nice. they all land. All right, so look at that. The cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. A swing and a miss by Sandy. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times people throw six. Now we're starting to find that rhythm that he's got. This man is stringing four or five, six in a row. What a great job. Oh, that's a nice strike. Right there. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body start to, start to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think now, what's, what makes Swiss right really interesting is that he can change pace really, really quickly. Oh, hurt. Well, looks as so just because we're winning, winning an exchange the doesn't mean yeah, that we're that we're going to win the end of it. Now, but he's got to start to protect it. Lands a nice jab there. But you see, the no stam gang is a real big Under thing because he'll he'll just repeatedly stand well, in front of you and throw combinations if you allow him to do it. In MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking his shots. Not allowing his opponent to get any damage off. There's that leg kick that we're looking for. Attacks. Out that jab off. There it is. What a huge blow and a big moment in this fight. Big right hand. Nope, gotta watch that. Ooh, nice I kick. thought he was gonna try to throw a head kick. Go to fake it. All right, it was a good round, but y'all see what I'm up against here. Y'all really do see what I'm up against. He's, he's going to throw a lot of strikes. And like I said, he's trying to get us to make a mistake. And as long as we just stay patient with it, we'll be able to get off our shots. We just have to be the last. The last one to strike. So here in the second round, he's going to change up a little bit of stuff. He has taken far too many shots. But overall, this is pretty much how he's going to play. Right there. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action right there. in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the mm -hmm. kitchen sink at each other. There it is. But we caught him in that slip. But man, those getting caught in slips in this game, 
does not do nearly as much damage as I think it probably should, to be honest. Oh, straight punch. It's there again. There's triple hook. Right there. Well, spike's been pretty crazy thus far. Both Looking for the up out a lot of damage and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly. Got him with that rear hook. hook. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. Would have hit him with the fade jobs. back Let's straight see, as he walked forward. The right there. Nope. Just misses there with the left. Sand Hagen's eye is closing up. Hmm. Just over three minutes to go. And me and Swiss were teammates for a long time, so. <laughs> that shot is blocked by we kind of know what each other's tendencies are. On both sides here. I know what he's looking for. He, I, he knows Every what I'm looking for. Lands, that cut gets worse. Yeah, it's getting worse. There it is. Oh, look at him. There it is. We got. We're gonna take jumps. This is something that me and Swiss do. Try to set it up again here. All right. Well, that blow is bossing from that cut with each strike land. Oh, I didn't think that was gonna hit me. Got that? Got him. Oh, that was close. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that Ooh. inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. No. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Oh, nice slip up. Oh, there it is. He's been trying to set that, that combo up all fight long. <laughs> no joke. These guys are just letting it all hang out. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish it. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He's just finding that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. Oh, just missed on that. Oh, I thought I had stepped in soon enough. He's going for these head kicks a lot now. 30 seconds to go in round two. All right, so he lands again just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his Muay Thai game team. You know, why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very Ooh, he's trying to throw those over, chuck them overhands now, too. saw the advantage that we predicted was there. These, round, these rounds are close, ladies and gentlemen. These rounds are close. This kickboxer looks amazing tonight. We've opened up a pretty big cut up on that nose. This really is going to come down to who makes a mistake. And that's what it comes. That's really what happens when you're playing. When two elite level players come down, it's whoever, whoever makes that first mistake. Really, it could really end the fight. But we did get a knockdown in that round. But let me tell you, it's this is nice job blocking that punch. Got him. Oh, it's so tough to get him to jump and guard against him. No joke. Because he'll up kick the hell out of you. Oh! See what I'm talking about? Them, them walking forward, no stam combos. He'll get him every time. Oh, I slipped into that direction too. Oh, there it is, front kick. Very nice, very nice. Nice, 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 nice. He gets the first one. It's very, very tough. Very, very tough to jump in guard against Swiss, even though I knocked him down twice. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. It's a close one. It's a close one. He did a good job with Corey Sanhagen, but uh, yeah, we got to get it. We got to get it right here in the second fight. Because if we don't, that might be it for us, ladies and gentlemen. That might be it. Ah, oh, we would have. We might have had the. We might have had it too, because we had a stun in that third round, right? Yeah, we did. <sighs> it's tough. It's tough. But like I said, that's what it is, though. That sometimes is how it is. So he's probably gonna go with. Connor, which he does. I noticed that they, he's pretty much the same person. The 
recovery. Okay. We'll use we'll use Alter Ego. Alter Ego Max. But Connor's tough, man. Connor really is tough in this game. No joke. So alright, we gotta get this one. This is the best of three. We gotta come out. We gotta get gotta be locked and loaded. Hot him right there, first thing. That night it was McGregor by decision. Of course, Holloway went on against 13 consecutive fights there. And Conor McGregor hurt himself in that fight and still was able to beat Max across all the scorecards. Shows how tremendous an athlete he is. But Max Holloway today is a much different fighter than he was way back in Boston. Mm. Well, few fighters manage distance as efficiently and as well as Conor mm, McGregor. That There's that left hand There's that. finding its home early. Oh, he does a great job of setting you up, man. You saw it in the Jose Aldo fight. The guy will just step back a little bit and bang. Drops the straight left on you. That can end. He's looking for them slips night. already. He not only throws this fast, he also is so accurate. And that allows him to finish so many fights. Edge of your seat action as expected thus far. What a fight. My goodness, what a fight. Ooh, right hand. Look at that. Oh, oh man, some big shots, too. Oh, that right hand barely missed it. Starting to do some really significant oh, I damage to the body one. here. Another strike lands there. Oh my goodness, that counter didn't land. That's so tough, dude. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by McGregor. Well, this striker has come out swinging early, and you know his style is based right on aggression, and largely it's worked out for him tonight. Oh, nice head kick. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Got him. Connor's speed and his power is really so pretty good. ridiculous. Got him right there. Back to his feet. Out of range with that one. Holloway's eye appears to be closing up by the second. Got him. <clears throat> Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Changing the position. Oh, nice combination of ground and pound here by Hollow. Mm -hmm. Nice block. Take it. Oh, he yeah. He faked and swept at the same time. All right, here, final seconds of round one. Oh, heavy shots raining down. He legit faked. And got a denial at the same time. Or punch and got a denial at the same time. It's crazy. It's crazy. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. Close round. We have good recovery on Max, though. But it's a crazy fight, man. It really is a crazy one. Got him with that hook. I love that, that leg. I love when the guy throws a kick with that much power. Got him with that elite hook again. Rips the body there. Yeah, he's looking for it. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, big left hook. Take that. Right through the block. Punch. Get his Almost like. Almost got him right there. Nice oh. 75 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. Landed mm. with 41% accuracy tonight against Max Holland. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. 
he should keep doing Look at him. this. Keep going Trying to well overload the block. Until his opponent finds an answer because right now, he seems lost to it. Man. Got him. Look at that. Got him. Uh-oh. We're going for the sub. No, let's go ahead and deny that. Take that arm triangle. See what he tries to go for, goes for the get up. Oh, nice denial. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fights in. These guys are gonna have to dig. Oh Ah, nice hook. Got it done. Got it done. Great fights. Great fights. That was a that was a really really good fight. To the utmost extent, nicely done to finish the fight. I had to message him. I had to message him. See if see if he be down to run a best of five. We might turn it into a best of five. <laughs> Just playing. If if he's down for it. But either way, those are great fights, man. That's just how you get it done. I'm probably going to run a couple more with him off, off stream. But for the video, that's it. Make sure if you guys are new and if you guys enjoyed this video to slap that subscribe button as well as slap that like button. Uh, oh, actually, he just messaged me. He just messaged me. I guess we're going to go best of five. We was going to go best of three. But I guess we're going best of five. Never mind, we turn it into a best of five. All right. I don't know what's going on. This is an impromptu best of five because we are supposed to go best of three. But we doing it. We doing it. Y'all get a little bit of a treat for the fifth one. Let's touch gloves. There's a straight. He is a gamer. And anytime he's in there, he's going to try to take it to you as he has done time and time again against Dustin Poirier. Nope. Ball left hook to the head. It's blocked. It's not that one. Trading huge shots. Let's see. Got him. Mm -hmm. is such a fan favorite. Beautiful land there with the left hand, and now we'll see what he can do. There's that jab from Max Holloway. Didn't take him long to find a home for that tonight. I mean, Max Holloway constantly the behind the jab, and you would expect it at the start of every single fight. The jab leads to everything else that he does inside the octagon. Well, we're nice throwing a lot of fakes out now. There. Kick to the body by Max Blessed Holloway. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him Oh, nice combo. He's holding him bad, man. That right hook is nasty. That will land it clean. Both fighters throwing heat now. Whoa. Now, what's crazy well, about Swiss's style, too? Is that he doesn't absorb a lot of damage just because of throwing a lot of offbeat combos. Like, he really should be taking a lot more damage, is what you would think. But he doesn't. To stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You see a fighter with a high Oh, my goodness. There it is. Oh. He said it's very hard to get a. Oh. Now, looks 
Caught him right there, though. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation. Ooh, we almost like, caught him. It would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, he can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability. There that is. Oh, my goodness. You got hit with the block glitch. Can it get him out of there? Goes upstairs for an elbow. Nice, nice, nice. Holloway getting worked here from the top. Ground nice, he's blocking it. Raining down. Round two All right. Next. That was a good round. So the round is over and you see the that was a good round. This is crazy, though. <laughs> right, hey, we're locked in. DC but Holloway even Holloway. with this, it's... It's tough, man, because Swiss is never out of it because of the high volume that he throws. It's really crazy that he's he's able to get away with the pace that he is, and that's what makes him so damn unique. I don't think the scorecards are going to be needed for this one. No, the scorecards will not be needed. If we continue to fight as we did in the previous round, somebody is going to sleep. Oh, man, the blood is... Got him right there. Double body rip. I'm not sure how he stayed up there. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your top. Boy, is landing big shots. Oh, my goodness. Oh, right hand. Got him. He's hurt bad. Oh, come on now. Well, no feeling out process tonight, both. Oh, bro, he just won't die. <laughs> he just won't die. Oh, it wouldn't let me jump in the block. Dude, I'm I'm putting it on in the best way I can right now, y'all. No joke. It it is just not working for me. Got him. We got him. We got him. I'm t I'm telling you, dude. You gotta stay really patient against Swiss LeBigs. Cause if you don't, it's y'all seen. He started. He started sure, slowly but surely making a comeback in that fight. Slowly but surely, he started making a comeback in that fight. That's crazy. <laughs> That's really, really crazy. But we got one up on the board. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, here we go. He's using Condit. Oh, he's using Lawler. I'm sorry. Lawler's chin, I think, is... Only thing about Jeff Neal is he has a 93 chin. Uh, yeah, Lawler has a 92 chin, too. So I guess it works. I guess it works. Let's put him in the red trunks. All right, we got to try to get this dub with Jeff Neal. We got to try to do it. Now, this fighter right here is... If there was any fighter that was made for Swiss LeBigs, it's, it's Robbie Lawler. Like, this dude can throw high amounts of strikes, and he hits like a damn truck. So... Oh, good block there. Early round action here. Captain Hook lands on the kickboxers beautifully. Oh, we almost landed. There and a strong way to start on the feet. Kickboxers love the high guard. The way to fight the mm. high guard is to throw things around the side. That hook is a very good shot that can land against a guy with that tight high guard. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Oh. All right, so Rufus Robbie Lawler, one of the best to ever do it, former UFC welterweight champion. And if you got extra points for Mean Mug, and this guy would lead the league, man. Dig and kick. Oh. 
Lawler's hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. Just over three minutes to go round one. Lawler to the body. I, I don't do that as well as you do. Caught him right there. Nice lead hook. Faint. This dude is trying to end this night early. Can you give us an ooey, please? Ooh-wee. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Ooh. So Dude, with the slip, with the slip uppy. Now landed for Robbie Lawler. <laughs> Just out of range with that strike. Oh, he slipped mm -mm. well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. Ooh. Lawler's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. You know, a lot of people say those don't land. Got him. Bit, Got him. Oh, come on, coach. Come on, champ. 90 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, almost blasted through that block. Oh, a nice straight there by Lawler. He's nope. able to slip the left there. Not that. Oh, nice. Perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight Caught him right there. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, oh nice double hook. Oh, nice slip up. Nice no, sir. I haven't been able to counter him at all in this fight. Nope. Got to start looking for the finish here. Final seconds of round one. Oh, Look at it. Just throwing a slip up every oh, single time. Works. Searching for it. Searching for it. That's going to be his slip of choice. Right, we we got to wait just a half a second longer. And then we'll get it. I don't remember if we... No, we didn't. You ready to fight? You ready? <clears throat> We gotta wait just a half a second longer. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully, the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Right there. Really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're gonna lead the dance as we go forward. Hard. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird. Oh, I thought that straight lead, the straight uppercut would have done enough damage to rock him, but it didn't. Nope. Him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's okay. back in the fight. I mean, blood, you gotta go to get it. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that because now he will be motivated. Oh, Robbie Lawler's jab hook. Uh, yeah, his jab hook does a lot of damage. Oh, come on. He's backing up, wobbling all over the place. to the body now is blocked. Lawler's nose is bleeding now. Yes, yeah. looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Three minutes to go in round two. There go, caught him with the straight. Oh, and there is that ruthless Robbie Lawler right now. Now he's slipping to the opposite side. With too many of those. Nah, man, this is a dog. Robbie Lawler is a flat out dog. A guy that's willing to fight anybody, protect his yard. I am a massive fan of Bruce's Robbie Lawler. Well, you know this is the hurt. Bro, that's the second time I've done that. And it would not let me. There we go. We're able to get it. That, that straight lead up here, I have to have a, 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 a higher damage rate. Because I keep losing every single time on that extreme. Defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave nope. where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Lawler's blocking pretty well now. So an adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already significantly damaged nose. So that cut nope. continues to get more severe with every passing moment of the fight. This is a, this is a crazy moment. fight right here. You know, I'm not going to lie to you. The fight, you expect for it to worsen because you're not going to not get hit anymore. Right now, he's got to do something to try mm -hmm. to limit the damage. Otherwise, it's going to get real bad. 
Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he... Look at that. that. Every single time I'm striking him with one strike, Back to the feet now. It's, it's just not doing enough damage to get a rock on him. It's crazy. Final seconds here. Jeff Neal's eyes starting to close up. Got to get that end swell on it. Oh, he hit me after the bow. Come on, Herb. Coming up next. Herb always trying to step into something early, but ain't trying to step in nothing late. Come on, bro. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to have to tough it out. This is the third round. So here we go, five This is that third round. This crowd is going sick after what they saw in that previous round. Truly an all-out brawl. Seminal moments on both sides. And yep. fight is still going on. Great moments by both of these fighters. Let's see who can continue down the path and really try to Look at Oh, my goodness. If that up, he would have hit. He would have been in trouble. All right, so he's landed a few semi uppercuts already, DC. Got to think he's I am almost certain he's going to go and try to find another one of those. But expect him to really sit down and try to. Oh, there it is. Nope, ducked under the Oh come on! What? That's crazy. Got that. Now right, we try to hit the get up. Block that. Go for the get up again. No. All right, trying to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, Take not that. today. Not today. Great job of following Rolling. the hips, keeping those legs locked, and keeping them in full guard. Well, not a guy you want on top of you. Ground and pound strikes piling up here. Good work by Lawler. All right, we, hey, hey, you ain't just going to keep us up against the cage. You better back up. He's trying to drain the block down. <laughs> back up, Swiss. We had to get up right there. It's getting bloodier with every passing strike. It's oh like my goodness. And he keeps going to it, and you see it's starting to get worse as the fight is going on. It's beautiful kick lands. He landed it perfectly. Perfect place. Well, I'm not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around. Look, just throwing outrageous amounts of Let's go, champ! I'm telling you, bro. He's throwing a lot of hooks. He was throwing a lot of hooks. He was chucking them things. We had to do it, though. We had to do it. Hey, I knew that was coming. I was hoping the rear, the rear uh, overhand wasn't coming. But... Hey, we had to get it done. All right, we hey, we pushed it to a game five though. It's it's in it to it's in it to win it. We in it to win it. We gotta go one more. We gotta go one more. We gotta do it. I don't know what weight class we going in. But oh boy, oh we're going in the middle weight. Oh, this is this is this a problem. Oh, he's going with Alex too. Oh damn. We got to go Izzy, right? We got to go Izzy, right? We got to go Israel out of Sonya. We have to. This this is too close of matchups for us to go anybody else. Now, we, me and Swiss played a lot against each other in the beta with these specific fighters. And we would trade back and forth. <laughs> Ready. We would trade a lot. Dana White doesn't trot out a lot of guarantees. He has guaranteed the fan base that this middleweight matchup between former kickboxers, now mixed martial artists, Israel Adesanya, and Alex Pereira is going to be This is going to be bananas. The kickboxing fights were amazing. They were very competitive fights. Understand that Alex Pereira won both of those fights, but Izzy had his moments. But now Alex nope. enters into Izzy's world trying to do it once again. If he pulls this off, John, it would be a feat that not many could have seen coming, and we haven't seen many times in the octagon. Israel Adesanya, I don't even know what that was, but a 
has certainly looked pretty, DC. This man brings so many different things to the table as a striker, and I would think would be a very difficult guy for his fellow middleweight contenders to prepare for. How good is this action about a minute in? Ooh. I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted. Trying to Ooh, we landed right there. Nice double lead hook stuff. What a fun fight. Yeah, hate to be the punch counter. <laughs> Got him. Oh! Oh, he meant to be hooked. Knock me down. I don't know how he he had unlimited stamina. He had the unlimited stamina. Hey, great fights though. Great fights. We smacked it. We smacked it. He had unlimited stamina, bro. I don't know how that one played out like that. Well, he's going to enjoy hey. watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout. He, I, I actually blocked the hook too, and he still was able to power through that thing. But that's Alex. That's Alex for you guys in the game, though. That's Alex for you in the game. But hey, shout out to the homie Swissler Bix. Crazy set. He got up too. I came back, got two. He was able to finish the last one. Man, that hurt because I had him hurt too. I had him hurt. We had landed a lot of shots on him too. Damn. But it's all good. But, hey, if you guys enjoyed this, make sure to slap that subscribe button. Made it, make sure to slap that like button. Like I said, again, shout out to the homie Swiss Labix. It was a fun one. We got to do this more often, and we are going to be going up against a lot of elite-level players. But until next time, guys, take it easy. Be safe. Enjoy the rest of your guys' day, afternoon, evening, depending on where you guys are watching this from. And I'll see y'all later on, though.